Good morning. You're watching my community on My45. My name is Gabriel Alvarez. I'm your host for today's show. Uh, make sure you find us on Facebook. Look for us there where we have more information on My45 Network. And also log on to our website at 45kuvi.com. Today we have two special guests. We got Dr. Meta and we have Sasha. Thank you for being on the show today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Dr. Meta, uh, can you share a little bit about yourself and how long you've been practicing? Yes, so I've been uh, in Bakersfield since 1994. Uh, I came out here and started uh, private practice in cardiology. And it's like it says, uh, you know, visit Bakersfield for once and stay here for a lifetime. And that's me. <laughs> awesome. I love Bakersfield. And awesome. I, I, and I hear you're spread out. You're pretty much everywhere. Correct. So we, uh, we are a group, comprehensive cardiovascular medical group. Uh, we are uh, covering Bakersfield. We have two locations here in town, uh, Truxton Extension and uh, Riverwalk. And then we are in Delano, Tehachapi, and Lake Isabella. Awesome. Sasha, so uh, what, what do you do and how long how long you been doing it? Uh, I've been in Bakersfield my whole life, um, and I work for a local oil and gas company, and I am a national volunteer for the American Heart Association. Awesome. So today's a, uh, this month is a special month, correct? Uh, for what is it? This is National Heart Month. Uh, this month is all about spreading awareness for um, heart disease and stroke. Uh, one in three women die of heart disease, and 80% of that is preventable through, maybe preventable through lifestyle changes and education. So this month is to promote heart health. Awesome, and what are, what are some of the things that we can do to kind of prevent some of the uh, strokes and so forth, Dr. Meta? Well, I think like Shasha said, uh, the number one thing in my opinion is correcting the knowledge gap. Mm -hmm. I think most women are not aware that heart disease is number one killer in women. Uh, cancer is uh, usually perceived as number one killer by women, uh, particularly women are afraid of breast cancer. But uh, heart disease uh, kills more women than the top five leading causes of cancer combined. So uh, uh, like uh, uh, Shasha said earlier, you know, every minute uh, one woman dies of heart disease, cardiovascular disease. So increasing the awareness is the key. And then we can address you know, various risk factors that can be modified. I mean, you hit it right there and then. Uh, not a lot of people are aware that it happens to more women than, than we think. Mm -hmm. Correct. And, and, and how is that? How, why, why aren't we communicating that a little bit more? Or how can we do that? Well, I guess uh, events like this go right for uh, women, uh, uh, TV shows, media education. Now we have a power of, uh, you know, electronic media. And I think getting the word out that uh, you know, women are equally prone to having heart disease and it is lethal. And more importantly, it's preventable. Awesome. Sasha, you, uh, you recently had an, uh, a heart uh, event. You had a condition with your heart and you actually survived it. Mm -hmm. Can you share a little I, bit about that? Well, it was when I was, I was born. Um, I was oh. born two months premature. I'm a twin and I was born early. We were born with a condition called bradycardia, which um, causes your heart to beat. It's an arrhythmic disorder. It causes your heart to beat slowly. And when I was 39 days old, I went into cardiac arrest and um, CPR saved my life. Um, luckily, the doctors at the hospital taught my parents CPR and my dad actually saved my life with CPR. Oh, wow. Um, since then, I, I lived a relatively healthy, normal life. I battled high blood pressure for a number of years. Um, I'm now just fine and that's controlled without medication. So. Oh, wow. Are, are you changing your life, uh, certain lifestyle, or certain things that you have uh, kind of do in your daily life to keep your heart healthy? I think number one is, um, is just being aware of, of everything. A, a big thing is what you eat and, and how much you exercise. So those are two things that I try to always be in control of and make sure that I fit a few minutes he in here of exercise or wherever I can, chasing my kids around. Um, but the, definitely what I eat and how active I am are two things I'm always thinking about. So Sasha, uh, like you said, this is Heart Month, mm -hmm. and I, I believe there's a campaign or there's something that's coming up with the uh, with the Go with Go Red and the luncheon. Yes, we have uh, the Go Red for Women luncheon and fashion show, which is nationally sponsored by Macy's. Locally, we're sponsored by Adventist Health and Dignity's Mercy Memorial Hospitals. Okay. Um, we have about 400 women and a couple of men get together to learn about heart health and how to live longer, stronger, and healthier lives. And, and when is the event and, and where is it going to be held at? The event is on Friday, February 24th okay. at the Doubletree by Hilton. And the event is from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And tickets are still available. They're $150 for a ticket or $1,500 for a table of 10. And you can visit um, kernheart.org. That's the wrong address. 
Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, no worries. We'll have it on the screen. Okay. <laughs> it's kerngored.heart.org. Awesome. And so uh, my understanding is uh, you're the main speaker. I am the speaker this year. Um, you know, Go Red for Women is the American Heart Association's national movement to end heart disease and stroke in women because it is not just a man's disease. Um, so I will be there to talk about um, my story and also um, the campaign's focus this year is Know Your Numbers. And there are five numbers that, that women can know to take control of their heart health. And can, can you share just really quickly uh, and go over those, those numbers? Sure. Yeah. Um, they are total cholesterol, HDL, which is your good cholesterol, blood sugar, blood pressure, and your BMI. And it's important knowing those with your physician. They can help determine if you um, are at risk for developing heart disease. And just really, I mean, it's not just here in Bakersfield, right, that you're speaking. I mean, you're one out of uh, how many people? I'm one of 11 women who was chosen um, around the country, and we are volunteer spokeswomen for the American Heart Association. So um, a group of them went to New York this, these past couple of days, so it, I could speak anywhere that they asked me to, but my favorite is here at, here at home. <laughs> awesome. And remind us again of when the event is and uh, where? The event is Friday, February 24th at the Doubletree Hotel and tickets are still available. You can visit kerngored.heart.org. Awesome, thank you so much for being on the show today. We gotta take a break, we'll be right back. <laughs> 